The Norwich University Archives Digital Collections gives you access to thousands of unique historical documents, photographs, and publications without having to visit the archives in person. Today I'm going to give you a brief tour to show you the different kinds of materials that are available and how to access them. So right now we're on the Digital Collections homepage. From here you can use the search bar to search across all the different collection formats. You can also use these links down here to browse formats one by one and search within each category. This last category called Collection Guides, um, that's actually not going to contain digitized material. Those are going to be text guides to each of our physical collections. So that can be really helpful if you're searching across the whole website and you might get search results showing you that there's a collection that hasn't been digitized, but it might contain relevant information. And then you can contact us to learn how to access those records. So first we're going to take a look at newspapers and magazines. In this category, you'll find fully digitized issues of publications such as The Record, Reveille, and Guide On. You can browse each individual publication or see them all at once using the View All Newspapers button. From this view, the search bar will search across all the newspapers and magazines. So we're going to try a popular topic, Junior Week. And from the search results page, you can click on the title to open up the issue. So once it loads in your PDF viewer, you'll see the issue in this frame here. The download and print buttons give you plenty of different options for reading. If you want to store it on your hard drive or, or you like to look at a hard copy, you can also toggle over to the text tab to see your search results highlighted directly in the text. And there they are one by one. So that's a really great feature to keep in mind as well. You can always click on the banner at the top of the page to return to the home page. And that's what we're going to do now so that we can take a look at some manuscripts. So just like with the newspapers and magazines, this page allows you to browse all of the manuscripts using this button or to choose a specific collection to explore. We have all of these collections of letters and diaries, mostly from early Norwich graduates, but the highlight of our digital manuscripts is letters from Alden Partridge's personal papers, listed here at the top. So if you want to learn about Alden Partridge's time at West Point, for example, you can type it into the search bar. And as you can see, that's going to bring up a lot of great results. Um, we can sort them by date over here with the drop-down menu. And if we open this first one up, you'll see that the page looks very similar to the guide on page we were just looking at. So one of the key differences is going to be, of course, that this document is in handwriting. It's not typeset, and that can pose a challenge for some people. Some of the manuscripts are going to have a transcription available, which means that if you toggle over to the text bar, a staff member has actually typed in um, a transcription of what's in the handwriting. So that can be really helpful, but just bear in mind that it's not available for every manuscript. So the last collection I'm going to show you before we bring it all together is the photographs. So we've come back to the home page again. And this is a great collection to just use the view all button for because it's really fun to just jump in and browse all of the great photographs that we have up on this website. So by default, these are sorted by date, you can see over here. And so right now we're looking at some of the earliest photographs that are available in our collection. I've got a picture of the South Barracks, some great portraits, and I'll open up one of my favorites down here to give you an example of what the page looks like. So you can see a nice big photograph. You can zoom right here on the page, or you can download a high resolution copy, which you're welcome to use for your project as long as you attribute it to the Norwich University Archives. So now to bring this all together, I'm going to return to the home page one last time, and I'll show you what it would look like if you visited the digital collection site with a research topic in mind, and you just want to see everything that's available across the different formats. So I'm going to use the search bar again, and this time, because I'm searching from the home page, it's going to search across all the different types of collections. So we're going to try Ernest Harmon, also a popular topic of research. Okay. 
And as you can see, we've got a variety of different search results. There are a couple of collection guides, which tell you again about the collections that you can look at in our reading room to learn more about General Herman. Looks like there are some photographs that he's featured in. And if we go down, there's some more portraits as well. And it seems like he's also mentioned in a handful of publications. One up there and a couple down here. So that concludes our tour of the Norwich University Archives Digital Collections. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any other questions.